We run uh, Coolawara and Storybook Alpacas. Alpacas are kind of like cats. They have such a curious personality about them. We've had probably 10% of our annual rainfall. And it's made you feel a bit more anxious than normal, almost having no power to do anything about it straight away. I think that's difficult to deal with when you're young. You know, you have your choice, you either lay down or, you know, you go off our philosophy, which is, you know, seven times down, eight times up. It's good because it's taught you to have a couple of moments where you can have a little, a little shock moment when you're a bit stressed. But I think that's what resilience is. Resilience is actually not just like, you know, you have to be able to probably think differently. It probably impacted my final year of school a bit more than I wanted to. With year 12, it was just about maintaining that sense of balance with it all. So studying hard, but working hard and making sure that you did enough not to feel guilty for not being here or being here enough and not feeling guilty for not studying. This farm is half an hour away from where we actually live. We'll all come down in one car and you listen to music or you chat about what's happening. I'm a total book nerd. Going to bed half an hour earlier just to read a chapter or things like that. It's all little things you just do to keep yourself happy. If you can cope well with adversity or if you can cope with something like a drought, if you can manage this, you can manage anything. <laughs>